Most runners have experienced this at one point or another. Now it's not life-threatening, it's not a serious injury, but it can be really painful and can also put some people off running altogether. We are of course talking about the side stitch. I'm Anna. And I'm Rick and on today's video we're going to try and explain the science behind what a stitch is and why you get it. We're also going to try and look into how you can avoid picking one up. But before we get into the science don't forget to subscribe to the running channel and click on the bell icon so you get notified when we upload videos just like this one that we do every week. So first off, let's look at what a stitch actually is. So its scientific name is Exercise Related Transient Abdominal Pain, or ETAP for short. And basically, it's a type of pain that is felt by some runners, often in their side, sometimes right in their abdomen, or even in your shoulder. A stitch is a pain that's been referenced throughout history, all the way back to the first century. The Roman author and philosopher Pliny the Elder called it a painful cramp and recommended injecting the urine of a she-goat into the ears to help with the pain. <coughs> Not sure how much that's going to help you on a 5k run though. Shakespeare even referenced stitches in his work as a threat. So in The Tempest, Prospero says, Tonight thou shalt have cramps, side stitches that shall pen thy breath up. So using it almost as a threat for disobeying. So if stitches have been around for centuries, then do we know what they are and what causes them? Now there is still limited research into what actually causes a stitch, which means that there isn't really a definitive answer to this, but there is a leading candidate among the theories, and we're going to run through some of those theories now. When you eat too much without a reasonable gap before exercise, running can cause a jolting to the organs that are trying to digest the food, and this can put a strain on the diaphragm. Another diaphragm-based theory is that side stitches can be caused by something called diaphragmatic ischemia, which in simple terms means that your diaphragm isn't getting enough blood supply to it. Now, the diaphragm is connected to the intercostal muscles, which can explain the side pain, and is also connected to your shoulder, which can explain why some people experience stitch pain up in their shoulder as well. However, this theory has also been debunked as people can often experience side stitches doing activities that don't typically make you heavily out of breath, like motor racing and horse riding. Another theory was to do with the spleen. The spleen expands during exercise as the heart rate increases and pulls in blood cells from other areas of the body, potentially causing pain elsewhere. This theory was also ruled out though, as it can't explain pain in areas of the abdomen and the shoulder. Another theory looked at the role that the liver can play in having side stitches. So with the organ sitting on the right hand side of your body and anecdotally more side stitches happening on that side of the body, it was thought that it might be down to something to do with the liver. However, lots of people experience side stitches right across their abdomen, which then means that this theory actually isn't correct either. This syndrome is a condition where the median arcuate ligament is pushing too tightly on the celiac artery, which is responsible for delivering blood flow to the stomach, the liver, and other organs. Again though, the stumbling block here is it can't explain abdominal pain in other areas. A lot of people describe the pain from a side stitch as similar to that of muscle cramps. However, recent studies have looked at the behavior of muscles during stitches and cramps and found that there was no muscle cramping during the side stitch. This one relates to poor posture and can explain a lot of stitch pain. Running sometimes aggravates the intercostal nerves, though it can't explain the link between running and a stitch after eating. So after all that, the current thoughts behind the cause of a side stitch comes from research from Callister and Morton, and that is an irritation of the parietal peritoneum. Now the parietal peritoneum is the lining of the pelvic and abdominal cavities, and it sits as two layers with liquid between it. So it's thought that a side stitch occurs when that system fails and the liquid is lost, therefore causing the pain. Now it's also connected to the phrenic nerve, which connects to the shoulder, which can explain why some people feel pain in the tip of their shoulder when they get a stitch. So this theory does cover all of the bases when it comes to the areas of pain that people feel when they get a stitch. However, that said, researchers are still not 100% certain that this is the cause of a side stitch. 
As well as the scientific research into stitches, there are also a lot of myths and theories about what causes the pain. As we said before, Shakespeare wrote about stitches in his writings, so there have been many years of speculation about what's behind them. Here's some of the best ones that we found. Don't eat too much or too soon before you exercise. Now, there is some truth to this one, and that's down to the postprandial state that your body goes through after you've eaten something. Now, this isn't to say that you're definitely going to get a stitch, especially if you're gonna be eating on the run, which is something that you might be considering doing if you're training for longer distances like marathons or ultras, but it is worth bearing in mind when you're gonna eat and how much you're gonna eat when factoring in when you're going to be doing your runs. There are lots of people who would recommend a rhythmic breathing pattern, where if you had a stitch on your right-hand side, you'd aim to exhale as soon as your left foot struck the ground. This one is very much mind over matter. So try and think the pain away. So as soon as you experience that side stitch pain, try and occupy your mind with something else. Think of anything but the pain that you're experiencing. It has worked for lots of people in the past. Now, the length of a stitch can vary for so many people, but the longer you think of something else, it might just go away. Some people say meditating is the best way to get rid of a stitch. The only problem is if you're able to meditate and run at the same time. Lift your arm and place it behind your head. So specifically for side stitches, lift the arm of the side that you're experiencing the pain on. And the idea behind this one is that you're stretching your muscles out to try and alleviate that pain. A lot of people swear by pushing on the area that you feel the stitch in order to get rid of the pain. So it's worth noting at this point that none of these theories are scientifically proven to get rid of a stitch, but they've worked for lots of people in the past. Let us know in the comments below if you've given any of these a try, or maybe you've got your own way of getting rid of a side stitch that we haven't mentioned. Let us know in the comments. Despite there being more research recently into the cause of side stitches, the exact reason behind them is still uncertain, which means that it's not exactly clear the exact prevention measures that you can take and precautions in order to not get one. The current recommended preventions are try to avoid food up to two hours before exercise and try to avoid hypertonic compounds. Put simply, this is food and drink that takes a long time to be absorbed into the body and takes water out of cells, making you feel more dehydrated. These generally include drinks that have high amounts of sugar or salt and even things like corn syrup. Much better to have an isotonic sports drink, which works alongside the body's fluids and nutrients. Another good prevention method, and one that actually has the added benefit of helping you to run faster, is improving your posture while you're running. So be sure to check out our video on the running channel all about good running form for more on that one. And lastly, it's recommended that improving your core strength can help you avoid getting stitches, not to mention potentially reducing your risk of injury. So building some core exercises into your weekly workout routine is a great place to start. When we're out on a run, even if we've done everything that we think possible to try and prevent getting one, we still end up with a stitch. So what's the best way to deal with one when it strikes? Apparently the quickest way to ease a stitch is to put upward pressure on the area underneath your ribs, but there's no clear explanation as to why that works. Everyone has different ways of dealing with a side stitch when they get them, and they can also last for varying amounts of time as well. While some people say that they only experience them for a couple of minutes at a time, others have reported feeling the after effects of a side stitch for several days after as well. Hopefully this video has helped to ease some of your stitch related questions. Do you often get stitches when you're out on a run? Leave us a comment below and tell us about your experiences. Just before you go, if you have enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the running channel as well. And we will see you next time.